Hey YouTube, what is going on? What is going on? It's DJ Show One King Legend coming at you here with another unboxing video. What we have here is a Sony digital camera ZV-1F. Alright, so this is a vlogger's camera. Alright, so if you're a streamer, vlogger, whatever you do, YouTube videos, IG videos, TikTok videos, this camera is great for you. Alright, so let's get right into it. Alright, so... Hope everyone's doing well. Haven't seen y'all in a while. Well, y'all haven't seen me in a while. But anyway, we're on to bigger and better things, all right? All right, so all we have here is all our manuals. All right, everything you need to know about the camera. And then some, all right? You got your one-year warranty. All right, so make sure you register the camera. All right, you get a thousand dollar visa prepaid card all right if you follow this link the security code all right you got your accessories link all right bunch of good stuff all right so you want to keep this one handy because this will be your guide to uh, register the camera with your phone all right so it shows you how to put the battery in and the SD card and how to charge it. All right, but you want to come right here to this code and you want to scan it with your phone. All right, so you put your phone on photo, you scan that code. Let me see if I can uh, show you that real quick. All right, so what you do is you put your, you put your phone against that link the link will pop up you know you go ahead and tap that all right and your google play will come up all you do is you hit install and it will install the creators app all right which will then link your camera to your phone all right i've already installed it so i can go ahead and open it all right once you do it will appear with the phone and the camera you'll have to have your bluetooth on or your wi-fi on and so forth and it will automatically pair um your camera to your phone all right all you have to do is accept a few icons that will pop up on the camera and the phone at the same time so make sure your camera is on while you're doing that so that way it can find the camera all right otherwise it won't find the camera if it's not on all right so make sure you install your battery first and you turn it on and then you can follow the apps all right as they come up all right so pretty much the days of hooking your wire up to the camera and downloading to your laptop or your phone or computer are gone okay so pretty much to get whatever's from the camera to the phone all you will hit is just import images and it will automatically download whatever's on the camera to the phone okay all right so I'm gonna take this camera out the box, see what it looks like. All right, so everything is bagged up. I kind of checked it out a little bit beforehand. All right, so I'm gonna give you a nice close up of all the buttons. All right, hope you can see that. All right, here's the top. All right, here's your on and off button. This will be your mic. All right, turn to the side. I'm going to show you what all these are. Okay. go it's the front all right there you go all right so now I'm gonna open it up let you see what that looks like this thing swivels you can put it like this all right or you 
can have it opened and see what you're reporting from the other side. All right, so if you're filming like this, you can see what's going on there. Or if you're behind the camera, you can see what's going on here. All right, so that's pretty nice there. All right, this is about a three inch uh, screen, I believe. And it's not heavy at all. All right, so let me turn this back off. I'll show you how to do the battery. All right, so what you want to do is open this latch. Door pops open. You uh, hit that little purple tab, battery pops out. Pull this out. Your SD card is going to go right here in this top slot. All right, you'll want to put it with the notch facing down and the pins facing towards the back of the camera. All right, so notch facing down of the SD card. All right, let me show you what SD card I bought. Okay, so this is the SD card that I ordered. Um, it should be here today. Um, what you want to make sure when you're buying an SD card that it has U3. That's for your 4K. If you want to record 4K, make sure it says 4K also. Alright, and here's another thing you need to look for. It has to say uh, SDXC. Alright, and this is 130 megabytes per second. They have other cards which are like 200 and so forth, but um, with this camera you really don't need the 200 because the specs of this is up to 100 megabytes per second. So a 200 is overkill, so I got one saying 130. Alright, so uh, this is a Samsung. I went with a good brand, but um, they have ScanDisk, they have a bunch of others. Um, that you go with whatever you can afford, all right? And there will be different capacities, 256, 32, 64, 128, and so forth. All right, so these will depend on how many hours you can record. All right, so I went with uh, 256. All right, so um, pretty much, I think they say 128 is about 24 hours of recording. But if you're doing 4K, it might cut it back um, half of that. All right, so I'm at 256, so that'll be pretty uh, uh, pretty good for what I do. All right, and um, pretty much whatever I record, I'm gonna upload to my phone anyway, and probably to my laptop to save it. So um, nothing will be staying on the camera card for long anyway, or to capacity. All right, so um, there you have it. Let me uh, close this up and get back to the camera. All right, so you look down in there, you will see those uh, gold-plated prongs. You want to make sure you put your battery in the right direction. All right, so on your battery, you have four gold-plated prongs like that, okay? So you want to make sure you face your, your, your battery the right way, all right? So... I um, think this would be the right way, camera upside down, the arrow pointing down, and all you do is slide it in, you will hear a little click, and that purple tab will slide right behind the battery to the corner to keep it from coming out. Alright, so if you put your battery in and it's falling out, or you didn't hear that click, or the purple tab didn't move, then that means you have it in the wrong direction, all right? Because it won't it won't work anyway. So even if I turn it around and try to put it in this way, see, it's not going to hold. So it's very hard to make a mistake. So don't be the fool to try to force it down and then close your door. Because even the door won't lock. You'll have to force it down. There should be no forcing with this camera, okay? Sony did a good job with that. So it's kind of foolproof putting in your battery, all right? So like I say, turn it around, face your camera upside down, put the battery label to you, it says Sony, see on the other side, 
you don't want to see that you want to see sony and camera facing upside down that's the only way to do it anyway the camera has to be upside down and put your label facing you slide it down see no effort watch okay did you hear that little click close your door well what you want to do is put your memory card in first and then the battery okay don't put your battery in first and then try to force the card between this notch put your card in first be a lot easier and then you uh put your battery in all right then you close your tab see tab has no pressure on it when you feel that you hold it with the other finger and you slide that little tab to lock it in place all right that's not going anywhere all right let me show you what else is in this box what it comes with you have your microphone um wind protector all right it's a little fuzzy cat here all right it's uh kind of spongy all right so this goes right here on this side this will cover your mic uh your mic vent i guess it is all right so if you're wondering how do you put this on what you'll do is you'll slide it like this hold it hold it like that all right two fingers slide it into the notch all right and you pet your little furry friend let them look nice and straight all right it doesn't shed either it's pretty pretty nice so you don't have to worry about it shedding okay and there you have it so this uh will protect it from wind noise if you're outside and it's a windy day or if you're someone that breathes heavy you, you know um you will get rid of all that wind noise all right so this is your your cover you squeeze these two notches pop it off there you go all right you can add um different size lenses to this separately um, they have lots of options that you can choose from that will attach to here to give you uh, a better zooming capabilities or whatever all right so I'm not gonna go over all the buttons because I really don't know all the features as yet just got this camera yesterday and I'm doing a video for you guys today all right so screen is a little bit uh fingerprint type deal so you will leave marks all right just like your phone all right so um let me go over these let me see here's your charger cable all right so this cable is pretty much standard like phone you can use your phone charger too depends on what one you have and this is a type C so this might fit my phone uh, I'm gonna say. yeah I think it's about the same size as my phone all right but anyway you just plug it into your regular um, regular phone charger or whatever other devices you have that uses a USB charging port and I'll show you where that goes. All right, so this is HDMI. If you can see that, this will be a charger cable and this is for a separate microphone port. All right, let me open them up. So there's kind of like lock tabs. There you go, you open it up and you will stick this end into here for your uh, HDMI, okay? So it's going to be a plug like this. As you see, this one will not work. Okay, so you can't make that mistake. All right. Here's your charger port. This one will go like, like that. And then you plug it in the wall. You're good. All right. It's pretty snug. These tabs are pretty snug as well, so they won't flop open on you. You kind of have to pry them up. All right, and here's your, I believe that's a 1 8 microphone input plug right there. So 
make sure you get the proper uh, plugs all right and everything should be on their website with the proper um, plugs and so forth to use all right so there you go you make a mess of the screen I'll clean it off later all right just to show you what it looks like all right all right okay twist this way so what you don't want to do is try to go the opposite direction you have to put the screen towards you okay yeah, so you can tilt downwards also all right but it won't go the opposite direction it only goes one direction so don't be the fool trying to turn it all the way and crack it all right it only goes one way so take your time figure it out at first and don't apply too much pressure all right otherwise you'll be sorry all right all right so there you have it this is Sony ZV-1F, all right? You can get this on Amazon, Best Buy, wherever they sell um, electronics, all right? All right, nice weight, palm size, fits in the palm of your hand. You can easily slide this in your pocket, and you're good to go, all right? All right, a little Chia Pet up top there. All right, this would be where you will mount it to a tripod. All right, so if you want a decent tripod, I also have a nice tripod here. This is made by Sunpack, 70 inches, two-in-one tripod, monopod. All right, three-way pan and tilt head. All right, this tripod is pretty decent here. I'm using one right now, but this one right here is like two times times better than the one I'm using now. Alright, it's got some weight to it. I'd say probably about five pounds. Between five and ten pounds I would say. It's pretty solid. It's got padded legs. Pretty solid. Alright, here's your mount. Okay. Look at this. It even has a level on there. I've never seen that, but um, I'm, I'm new to this anyway, so what do I know about these things, all right? I'll just be learning just like you. But anyway, this can turn into a monopod also. I'm not going to do that transformer, transformer experience right now. I don't know how that works, but I'll figure it out. I'll let you know. All right, so what is a monopod? A monopod is getting rid of all these legs. All these legs can detach, and what it will be, just a pole mount. If you've ever seen like news uh, anchors and they have their camera set up and they can easily move it around without the tripod, it's just a long stick. This is what this, uh, this can do, all right? So it turns into a pole. I'll show you. Just like this box. It can turn into this pole, all right, with just a stand, all right. All right. All right, so that's a good accessory to go with the camera. All right, and that's about it. That's all I have for you today. DJ Show and King Legend, I'm out. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please like, please share the knowledge, all right? I'll get right back at you.